get mod in the channel just so every run you can do FFZ follow yeah. and then yourself. <laughs> Be sure we to are follow. live, boys. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. We're back. Um, there's not really much to like explain about Super Hot at the start. Let's just get into it, I suppose. Um, okay, so this. You might want to explain how the game works. Yeah, well, we can we can do it after, and there, there, we'll have some downtime. Sure. All right, Tom, you ready on time? We're ready. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I didn't press. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so super hot, cool game. If you've never seen it before, it's been. Oh, I clicked out the window. It's fine. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Now the run. Now the run sets. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> Super hot looks okay. to do this thing where your mouse is not contained in the window. Like, oh yeah, that's. Really oh wait, wait, wait! I. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's don't fine. worry. This yeah, is a new worry, game guys. plus run. This, this is, is this is a new game plus run. run. Yeah, this is intended. And, uh, intended game mechanics. There is. Yeah, exactly. don't, don't worry. Everything's fine. We were at the end of the game. There. This is a new game plus run. Uh, okay, now we're now the now the run is started. Let's go. Okay, so super hot. If you've never played super hot before, it's a cool game. It's basically the main gimmick of it is um, time only moves when you move. So in the speed run, obviously you have to kind of go against the main mechanic of the game because you obviously want to pass time as quick as possible. Um, but we're gonna be constantly moving, constantly jumping. It's it's quite similar to Hot Miami in a way, actually, the, the game that I ran yesterday. In a sense that it's just kill all the enemies on the level. Did I kill him? I did, okay. Yeah, and, and basically, you know, this is a good speedrun because uh, you don't do what the game wants you to do. Precisely. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, that means Super. Okay. Um, another thing, doesn't jumping, like, screw up the AI really bad? Like, it does, yeah. Around. Yeah, the AI tries to predict where you're gonna walk, and I mean it really it wouldn't really work well if they didn't. So, um, but yeah, so jump in. Where's the last guy? Oh, there you are. Okay. So there's a small little skip here. If you played Super Hot before, you know there's a lot of like dialogue in between the levels sometimes, and um, but we can actually skip a lot of that if we press exit um, at certain times on some levels, and we can skip a lot of dialogue that way. Saves on a lot of downtime. So, just jump. Jump over that car. Hopefully shoot him. Okay, that's really important. I missed that guy, but it's fine. Because I can just get him really easy like this. The first guy's a real pain though if you miss him, because he's just like, he's so unpredictable. And so these enemy spawns are like fully consistent? Like you always know where Um, On some levels some they levels? are consistent. But on some levels it's also just like completely random basically. It kind of has, <laughs> if you've ever played COD 4, um, you'll know that the enemies kind of uh, spawn unless you walk to their spawn point. Can you stop? Oh, I have no ammo. Um, so this game is kind of like that as well, where if you walk to an enemy spawn point, you, you can kind of force them to spawn in different areas. And we kind of use that sometimes as well. That makes sense, yeah. Oh, I thought I was on a different level, okay. So you can also kind of Goomba stomp enemies as well, which is pretty funny. It's oddly <laughs> precise as well, you can't, you can't just like jump on them anywhere, it's like a kind of specific spot on the body. I did so not know that though. was a thing. Yeah, that's quite that's funny. Uh, oh. Okay, this level is kind of weird because we have to bait this guy into shooting the pole there, or the bollard, whatever you call that. Um, make sure he doesn't shoot us. Take it a little slow, okay we're good. Um, What's next? I can't remember. Oh yeah, this level. Break is... It, break is kind of the start of the... Nice. Break is kind of the start of the really random levels. Um, some enemies, like in Hotline, um, enemies can spawn with random weapons sometimes. And uh, we pretty much want enemies to spawn with katanas on this level. Because that means they'll run at you like that. And we, d and we don't want enemies to spawn with shotguns because they're the hardest weapon to dodge, so... Um, but that went very well though. And like Jack mentioned, this game's pretty similar to Hotline, where it's like, run around, dodge bullets, you die in one hit, everything else dies in one hit. Mm -hmm. 
Here's, here's another one of those uh, dialogue skips. We quit out when the when we kill the last enemy, and we skip the whole section of story and stuff. The story in this game is pretty, it's pretty cool actually. Um, if you like kind of abstract stories, it's basically yeah, it's like this game's just hotline, dude. It is. It honestly, it's just hotline. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. Um. Oh, I never mentioned that Shaf is here with me. Did I mention that? I think I. Yeah, I don't that's know. fine. Anyway, my dad, my dad, dad Shafarni is here accommodating me. I, I didn't even have to say it. You already knew the dad <laughs> Oh, nice! Jumped into his bullet. You can Be really tell I'm his dad because I'm also Irish. Yeah, precisely. All right, let's try that again and hopefully dodge this guy. Okay, he's just being epic. Um, yeah, there's so actually. Sorry, what are you going to do? No, no, I was just going to say, this, this game's really hard. If you have it is, yeah. Some of these things can take hours, maybe. You know, this, it's not a super long game, which is why the estimate's so short, but um, some of these levels can just take a while. Yeah. Um, okay, exit. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the movement of this game is pretty cool, actually. You have a lot of, like, air strafing uh, capabilities. And we can use that on some levels to um, basically just for some strats and also for some movement based levels as well. Like you've seen the one where I had to dodge the truck there. You can kind of get on top of the lumps there and then hop on top of the truck and it saves a little bit of time. Here I'm basically just holding S, very hard speed tech, until that character pops up and then I stop holding S and then it counts down and then wait for it. Hold on, get ready, press escape. Right now, okay, we did it. Mash enter. There's a lot of mashing in this game as well, if you couldn't tell. This oh, we possible. can hear. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> we can hear really loud. Yeah, not the not the best uh, keyboard to run this game with. Not gonna lie. Yes, I missed him. Fakey hands, XD. <laughs> And also, uh, the reason he's playing in Japanese is actually because it is. Faster. This time it is actually faster. Nice, that was the last guy and I died. Yeah, Hospital is one of the hardest levels for me at least. There is just, wow. Well, getting sniped by a shotgun. What kind of world is this? Uh, Jack Commander ZX2 asks, does someone keep punching their desk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't actually, I have one of those um, keyboards that just projects like a light onto the desk. And it detects yeah, where you up. press. Wow, this is going horribly. He gets really mad when he does this run. So can, you, on the can you blame me? Can, you, can <laughs> anybody die, here, honestly? Right? Nobody's dying. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so I it. This is a pretty hard game, and especially because Jack's not playing it the way it's really meant to be. Like, Bullets fly everywhere, and the way you're supposed to be able to counter that is by standing still and taking time to think about it. But okay, Jack's really incentivized to move around. Yeah, that's like the skill ceiling again in this game is quite high because it's basically open to just how fast you can you can move and um, like do strats without stopping without stopping time. So it's quite handy actually for new players because they can kind of do um, the hardest strats, but you can just take it at your own pace. It's kind of a unique speed game. Like that. A weapon here. That'll do. Enemies can also kind of see you through walls, so they can pre-aim you. It's kind of, uh, you have to kind of watch out. You think you're safe peeking someone around the corner, but they already know you're like about to peek yourself, so. So the enemies are bullshit, just like in Hotline? Yeah, like, no, this, I'm just realizing now this game is Hotline. Now, yeah, pretty much. It's got a weird story. It sucks. No, this game's actually really cool. There's another thing you should pick up. World record in this game is what level am I on? Oh yeah. Here's another Goomba Stomp. Um, yeah, we, we kind of, it just works out sometimes where you want to stomp somebody. And it just makes the rest of the level easier pretty much. Like there, we could have just uh, pick up the katana and wipe up, wire, or mop up everybody else. Can you make a category that's just Goomba Stomps? <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be either amazing or awful, I don't really know which one. Oh god, okay. Um, yeah, Bullets has the world record in this game. It's like 18, 18. Uh, oh, you're supposed to press escape here. Bad speed, man. Also, I have to mash left click really fast here. Right, about 
Yeah, there we go. Ugh, mash, 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 mash. Do hand mashing. Only professional speed men on this marathon. Somehow your mouse is loud enough to hear too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you kind of want to explain the story? Um, yeah, actually, I... The, the I mean, story is... Do you know the story to this game, Jeff? <laughs> yeah, kind of. You, you start playing a game on your computer that your friend sends you, and then you're killing a bunch of dudes, and you're like, wow, this is really fun. It feels so real. And yeah. then you find out that it is, kind of, and you were killing a bunch of dudes. Uh, and then, like, I don't know, you upload your brain to the mainframe <laughs> or something. We're not there yet. We're not there yet, Jeff. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. No oh, spoiler. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it's in we, Japanese, so you Yeah, we have to do some dialogue. I don't know what he's saying. Oh, my emotion that you do, suitably. Yeah. Oh, no, that's Russian. And we are, we're actually... <laughs> that dialogue, what that was saying, basically, is do not play the game again. And then um, we promised uh, the guy that we wouldn't. However, um, we mashed enter before that cutscene. And we basically entered the level before we even uh, went into that dialogue. So we basically just lied right to his face. Because the level was like already loading, even while we were talking to him. And I did the wrong strat there, this is what you're supposed to do. There you go. Put this gun. This game's really similar to like conversations me and Jack have, where I keep asking to not play okay. Hotline anymore. Yeah. But as, as I say that, he's already launching the game. What level are we on now? Ah yes, this one. So we can do another dialogue skip at the end of this level too. Lots of high quality skips, I okay. Weird. Matrix! Okay. Oh that was sick. <laughs> Dude, what a legend. Uh, I think the nicest part about this game is you get to do cool stuff like that yeah. and feel like you're great, even though know, you kinda just stood still and then moved left. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Once again, they can see me behind this wall, so it's kind of Okay, yes, okay, I can quit out now. Get a whole load of dialogue. And now the guy's mad because we played super hot. But it's like such a fun game. Is it really? I mean, That's I can't even be mad. So bunny hopping like this is just a little bit faster than walking normally. And again, apologies for the extremely loud punching of the desk. Alright, so here, yeah, we just punch ourselves in the back of the head, so here we can actually quit out of the game, like Alt F4, and we can skip this cutscene, or dialogue, whatever you want to call it. And we see red, Alt F4, open it back up. Game is available on Steam, yeah, I just don't know how much it is nowadays, though. Yeah, I think it was like 30 when it came out. Yeah, it was actually pretty expensive for what, like, what you get. Yeah. It is a fun game, but... It's not it's not a super long game, I'll be perfectly honest. Yeah. It's like, what, three or four hours? Yeah. I, there is a lot of extra content, though, is the thing. Like, the main game is, yeah, like three or four hours, but if you really want to milk this game dry of content, you can. Like, there's a lot of stuff to do. Also, mashing very loudly. Yeah, just start speedrunning it. <laughs> if you ever want to milk a game dry of content, just start speedrunning yeah, it. Yeah, actually, that's fair. There you go. If you're a game with on a budget, speedrun.com. Find your favorite game. Also, donate to Hackathon. <laughs> All the proceeds yeah. at this point go to the Save the Children Foundation. Forget about your rent. Donate to Hackathon. <laughs> Who needs to be saved more, you or the children? Yeah. Come on, guys. Okay, so. Alright, so here is basically more cryptic story stuff. Um, you guys are really mad that we play the game, basically. That's all this is. This is. He's um, basically your dad. Now, I for some reason this next part on my game and my game only is like really really loud, um, so apologies for that. But, um, really? That's weird. Yeah, I don't know why. I'll hear it now. Not this bit. This is fine. Okay, it's over. Okay, now we have hot switch, which is like okay, there we go. So basically hot switch is we can 
press E on a red guy, and he didn't die, what the hell? I didn't punch him enough. There we go, he's dead. Yeah, so what Hot Switch does is you can switch from the character you're currently playing as to any other, like, yeah, character okay. you can see. Yeah. Um, and the guy you were currently playing as dies, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so, it, it has a cooldown, so you can't just spam it, but it's a pretty powerful ability. Yeah, it's a good way to end the level, because it's like a really safe way to kill the last enemy on, on the uh, on the level the most time. Like, that now. Oh no, my hot switch isn't ready. Yeah, now it is. Is it? No, it's not. <laughs> now it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a fantastic example of how to use hot switch. Um, here's office, which is probably... Here's office, which is probably the hardest level in the game for most people, other than myself. I do think it's cool that like the AI is so minimalistic, but it is frustrating sometimes. It's hard to tell when hot switch comes back and other things like that. Where's the last guy? Where he's running away? There he is. He's shooting the floor. He's a dummy. Super. Also, another thing about hot switch is the guy you switch into automatically throws his weapon. Mm -hmm. In case Jack isn't an idiot, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am. But... Well, yeah, but. Yeah, at least we can agree on that. More mashing. We have to select yes here. Actually, no, I think Mo was faster, but you know what? I'm too lazy to press down on my my D-pad. Not my D-pad, my arrow key. Have you it... played this in VR? I haven't actually, and it looks. It does look really cool. It looks I like one of the games that... Ah, huh? sorry? I can actually play it in VR now. So oh, you yeah, have? Like the... Yeah, yeah. Nice. I'll give uh, you guys an update, don't worry. So here, usually when you hot switch into somebody, they um, throw their weapon and it's like unobtainable because it just breaks when it lands. But if you make the enemy drop their weapon before you hot switch into them, then you can hot switch and then pick up the weapon right out of the air. Oh god, I nearly shot myself. Okay. <laughs> I had to dodge there. You can like shoot at somebody and then hot switch into them and kill yourself with your own bullets. It's it's, it's <laughs> ideal. Yeah. yeah, I have done that many times when I was playing casually. <laughs> oh, more mashing that I forgot about. There we go. Now, this level is deceptively hard sometimes because, for lack of a better word, it's bullshit most of the time. Like that. He didn't <laughs> die when he was supposed to. I- oh god. <laughs> How did I survive? I- I- I deserve that death. Okay, here we go, let's try again. Uh, die please? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Some of these levels get really cool, like right now we're jumping around on a train. Hello. Please, oh my- And what's cooler than that? Super. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, for some reason that guy is just like invincible sometimes. Like a really weird hitbox or something, I don't know. Huh. It's weird. It's like the wall extends further than like what it actually what the texture like implies, I suppose. Can you hot switch into like me? Of course you man. can. Alright, so yes actually, I'm just trying to cover up my lack of skill in this game. <laughs> How did you not like sorry? Alright. Of course, okay, I'm gonna have to get him. I didn't want the hammer. Hold on. <laughs> this is... Mm. Nice. Why are you moving? Why are you moving? <laughs> Alright, it's fine. Don't worry about it. First try. This Honestly, is... I didn't even know there was a hammer in this game. My god, okay. These levels get really hard, by the way. Like... Especially when you're trying did to do I the hit it, yeah. That was the whole problem with that. Uh, you get into like positions where you're surrounded by enemies on every side and it's really hard to dodge yeah. all the bullets coming at you. It's just hard to do fast sometimes as well, because fast in this game yeah. means passing time. And passing time means enemies are 200 IQ. So. <laughs> Seeing through walls. Yeah. And okay. We're nearly done actually. Hello? Are you gonna peek me? No, you're not? Okay, fine. There we are, you cheater. And he's dead, okay. Super. 
Alright, we have the most uh, skill and tech intensive level coming up here. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm definitely serious. Hold on. Okay. There we go. <laughs> it's hard to tell with you. Oof. Okay, I think we're doing good so far. Doing good so far, okay. <laughs> okay, oh, nearly messed up. Alright. This is some 200 IQ stuff right here, Jay. Oh, that's intense, so uh, Okay, he can really easily mess all this up, so just... Can we just get, like, bear with me, guys. Chat, Hold on. Please? Just let him focus. Okay, we... Oh, that was a, a big... Oh, my God. Oh my God. I can't believe you got that first yeah, try. Yeah, I can't believe it. What a legend. Alright, so we're on to the last uh, level in the game now, basically. So, I'll switch into the car. Do more loud mashing. And loud beeps. Yo. I tried to beat this for so long without hot switching into the core. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know if you can do it or not. Alright. So the gimmick to the last level here is you, ba you basically just have to- that was bad mashing. Basically you just have to survive um, a set amount of time and then you can hot switch into the core. Um, so that essentially means we're gonna be a big baby and jump out of bounds like this and rub against this wall which passes time and wait until you get told to hot switch into the core. Dude, I love rubbing against walls. More loud mashing, alright. This, this part is actually kind of hard. Try. Hey, okay, I hit that guy, which is he's the main issue with this section. Okay. Oh, okay, that's all right. Rub against the wall, rub against the wall, and there we go. We, did it. we saved the world. I don't know what we did actually. I, I don't know, you became part of the machine, I think. Yeah. So you can get all the enemy, enemies here in one cycle. Do it right. Do it. Alright, got it, thanks. Oh, sweet. But if you take too long going from another enemy, or from an enemy to an enemy, um, it just kind of zips you back up on top of the car, and you have to aim at another enemy again. So, it's cool to get the, the one cycle. Is time coming up? Time is coming up in like a, a minute maybe. There's just some okay. story, story stuff that we don't really care about, but we have to play. I'm really excited. Yeah, I know. But, um... <laughs> Especially since it's in Japanese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Korean, right? Saves that, yeah. I think that's the correct language. No, Asian. Isn't that what we, what we decided? Yeah, Asian. Right. Alright, more, more bunny hops. And time is coming up now. You know. Did we mash more here? I can't remember. Yes, we do. Just so you know, Light Split actually crashed again, so. Nice, well, that's time anyway. If anyone cares. Hey, nice, you know. dude. Well, you gotta. I will have minutes. somebody in chat let me know, and then I will update that. Alright. Uh, Oh, well, that was super hot anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Your, your run was only five minutes long. Yes. Super. World record. <laughs> Live world record. Guys. Super. Go follow Jackintosh on twitch.tv slash Jackintosh with two H's slash subscribe. Super. It really helps him out. Super. But I, I, I don't know super. about that. I don't know if you should, if you should do that. Super. Anyway, no, super, super hot's a really cool game, though. You should, uh, super. if you want to get into this game, super. the community's amazing. They're so super. nice. There's a Discord, Super. ask away oh. any questions. I'd be Super. happy to help, including me. Super. Yeah. Super. Just oh. actually email, or uh, just Super. mail uh, Jack a letter. Yeah, fax me Super. on the. Uh, I, I have my fax Super. number on my Twitch profile. Super. He responds fastest to like paper Super. messages. Yeah. It's just more Super. practical that way. You know? Alright, thanks for watching, guys.